What should I do if this were to happen at my school? That's a question some local teachers are now asking themselves. KITV4's Leah Kamana reports. Now, instead of pencils and paper, we need to have protection against gun violence in our schools. If that doesn't say that we need to take action now. Corey Rosenley is a social studies teacher at Campbell High School. He is also the former president of the Hawaii State Teachers Association. Initial reactions um, that you had when you heard about the shooting in Uvalde yesterday. I have my own daughter. Um, and I think as a parent, the first thing you think about is just the absolute horror it must be for any parent to drop off their child at school and, you know, to see that kind of tragedy happen. Um, so my first thought went to my own daughter and then I just, my heart goes out to all those parents. In a post on Facebook, Rosenlee highlighting the reality of being a teacher today. Teachers have been giving these buckets in case there is a lockdown or a shooting and the kids cannot leave that there's something to use the, the, the bathroom inside the classroom. And this is now an essential supply. What are your thoughts in terms of security in our schools, ensuring our kids safety? Do you, do you think we're doing enough? At the end of the day, it's not just about schools, but if you look at it, it's just this past you know month we've had in churches at uh, grocery stores, you know, and just just too many times at schools. I think Hawaii is a perfect example that you can balance the right of gun owners and keep our island safe as well. We have the lowest gun violence in the entire country. Um, and it still allows for, you know, certain ability for people to use guns. Does that provide you some comfort as a teacher and as a parent? Um, or do you think that we still need to be prepared? I do feel proud that we've taken certain actions to make Hawaii safe. But I will tell you that as a teacher, and I think a lot of teachers, again, just to see that bucket as a reminder that this is something that is something that we have to prepare for. I'll tell you, a lot of teachers have had to think about, you know, what would happen if that happened at my school? On Wednesday, the Kauai Police Department announcing they will increase police presence and patrols at schools across the island to support school resource officers, our community, and provide safety and security until the end of the year. The shooters in Uvalde and Buffalo posting on social media about their plans. The Honolulu Police Department saying, You see something, say something, right? So same thing, right? Some people, they broadcast what they might do, what their intentions are, or what they're even thinking about, right? So we always say, you see something, you say something. Whether it, if it's a school, whether it be to the school staff, to your school counselor, uh, police officers, whatever it may be, see something, say something. And that's literally the, the main way we can get information regarding po preventing possible incidents. Reporting, I'm Leah Kamanaw, KITV4 Island News.